Yo, what's good? Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. This is your boy LB. Today, we're gonna see how to create this 3D freeze frame effect in After Effects. Before we jump on someone who did not make subscribe, let me hope you're gonna do it. And remember to follow me on my Instagram, LB Films. Let's jump on in action. Yes, so guys, this is the video clip I'm going to use. So now I'm going to find the best frame which I can use for making this effect so let me use for example yes let me use this one after finding this frame i'm going to export this screenshot here in adobe after effect i will import it into photoshop guys you can use after effect for masking for example just when you just want to use Adobe After Effects, you can Ctrl plus D for duplicating this layer and then right click here on it on the first layer, then go here on the time, then you click here on Freeze Frame. As you see, my frame is very freezed. So now, and then after this, you can use this pen tool for masking your subject. Guys, but for me, I don't want to use this method I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop. So now I'm going to find my frame, a good frame. So now after this, I'm going to export and a screenshot import into Adobe Photoshop. After finding your frame, so now go here on composition and then click here, save frame as file. So now after this, this is output frame to Photoshop PDS and then click here on save. So now after this, here on the render queue, just you have to choose this output model. So now I don't want Photoshop. I just want this, the format of GPG sequence. And then click OK here. So now after this, here you have to choose where your image will be saved and output. So now I can choose here in this freeze frame effect folder. Let me rename it as Moa M. So now click here on render. So guys, already my image is exported. So now let me jump in Adobe Photoshop. Then I'm going to mask. So now open up your image. So where is my, this is my image. It's already open. So now I'm going to mask my only this subject. So now I have to use this pen tool. For masking so now let me do it as fast as possible this is the second method you can use if you don't want to use this Photoshop method you can use the previous one I have been show you in Adobe After Effects so now you have to mask well your subject because guys for me this is the best way for me and you can use the best way for you just guys take your time to mask your subject well as possible guys so now i'm done for masking so now after masking here on adobe photoshop so now you have to click ctrl plus enter for making this selecting to my subject so now and then after click ctrl plus g to duplicate this layer only so now i have to mute this background so I'm going to save as PNG format, just this subject only. Click here on a file. I'm going to save as PNG format. Click here on save a copy. So now choose the PNG format. The file name is Moa M copy. So now click save, then click OK. So now after this, let me back on Adobe After Effect. So now I'm going to import my PNG image. So now double click here for importing your image. The name is Moa M copy is this one. Okay. So now drag here on this timeline. Yeah, it's already getting. This is my image. So now, guys, you have to make sure this is my frame for background and this is another one for subject only so now i have to reduce this subject where i have take the screenshot okay 
just like here. So now after, click here on this background video. I'm going to track this background video. You have to, first you have to click here on this video and then you have to choose this tracker. If you don't see this tracker here, you can go here on window, then you find your tracker. So now after finding this tracker, you open up and then you track the camera. So guys, here you have to wait a little bit of time for analyzing background step one of two because you have to wait these frames you see my video it has 443 frames depends how long your video is the quality of videos just you have to wait depends what kind of video you are using so guys you see the camera is gonna be done. Yeah, solving camera. Yes, it's done. When it is done, you will receive this tracking point on your background video. So, guys, here, if you want, you can increase this track point size for increase. Okay, when it is very small, you can increase or decrease. Okay, after tracking your video background, I'm going to find the tracking point which i'm gonna use for tracking my subject so now let me yes you see here on this flow i can use this point let me use this one so now let click on it and then click here on create solid and camera guys you see the solid what i have received so when i play when i play my video you will see the solid it will be there where my tracking point is okay so now let me use this blue line where my subject is ended okay let me jump one frame okay so now after this i'm going to delete this track sorry we have been created okay i have to delete click delete button on your keyboard so now after this click here on this subject only and then open up this 3d square so now after this you see my subject is very small so now open up this subject area and then open this transform let me use scale for scaling by scaling my subject guys you have to scale your subject when this blue line is on end of your subject okay so let me pull up okay this is good so now after this you have to open this smooth square tool okay so when i pray let me play and let me see how is it you see my effect is affecting my tracking point so guys just click here on this subject layer then click here on compose then click here on compose settings click here on advanced for here you can increase this shutter angle of your subject okay so i can use 262 okay that's okay so now let me pray Yeah, guys, this is how to create this effect. If you have a question, please leave it in the comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, because it helps me to grow my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and stay creative. Peace.